Once you have created a relational connection to SAP HANA, the next step is to create the data foundation for the universe. When connecting to SAP HANA, you can build your data foundation by selecting the appropriate tables and creating joins between them, or you can build your data foundation directly on a pre-existing analytic or calculation view. In this tutorial, you will create a data foundation based on an SAP HANA view. Create a new data foundation in your project. Right-click the SAP HANA project. Click New. Select Data Foundation. Specify a unique name for the data foundation. Type SAP underscore HANA underscore DF underscore view and then click Next. Set up the data foundation to be single source, which is the default data foundation type. Click Next. Note that the relational connection has been published to the repository, creating a secured connection shortcut. Use the shortcut as the connection for the data foundation to secure the universe. Select the SAP HANA connection shortcut checkbox. Click Finish. Click Minimize. Once the connection is established, the next step is to set up the data foundation to process SQL statements most efficiently for SAP HANA. View the properties for the data foundation. Click Data Foundation. Select the SAP HANA DF View Data Foundation. Click the toggle button. View the parameters for the data foundation. Click Parameters. A query may contain multiple SQL statements. When the join by SQL parameter is set to no, these multiple SQL statements are processed one at a time, and the results are aggregated in the client tool. When this parameter is set to yes, the SQL statements are rewritten into a single statement, and the aggregation takes place in the database. This makes the query faster, and requires less memory from the client tool. Set the parameter to yes. Select the join by SQL parameter. Click the values list. Select yes. Apply and save your changes, and then return to the connection view. Click OK. Click the toggle button. Click Save. Click Connection. Next, navigate to and select the view that contains the desired data for your universe. Click to expand the SAP HANA connection. Click to scroll down. Note that all views are located in the SysBig catalog. Click to expand the SysBig group. Click to expand the first group of views. Add the view to the data foundation. Double click the I818938 AN E fashion view. Note that a view contains columns from multiple tables, with the joins between them already defined in the SAP HANA Studio tool. The best practice is to use a single view in the data foundation, with no joins to any other objects, which enables all of the processing to take place in SAP HANA. Save your changes. Click Save. You have successfully created a data foundation based on an SAP HANA view. This is the end of the tutorial.